Edward runs a GB-based company selling thousands of pounds worth of glassware to Elise's shop in France. George is the driver of the haulage company, transporting the glassware. Sandeep and Pierre are customs agents. Search Find a Customs Agent on gov.uk for a list of agents who can help you submit customs declarations. Edward gets a GB Eori number and Elise gets a French Eori number. These are needed to complete customs processes and identify who is importing or exporting goods. Search Get an Eori number on gov.uk for more information. INCO terms are international trading terms that set out everyone's responsibilities. Edward and Elise agree the type of INCO terms they will trade on. They give their Iori numbers, invoices, purchase order and transportation details to their customs agents. For more information on INCO terms, visit iccwbo.org and search INCO terms. Edward checks that the goods meet the rules of origin requirements. He will also need to have evidence in place to prove his products comply with the rules of origin. This means that Elise can bring them to the EU without paying tariffs. Find out more by searching Rules of Origin on gov.uk. Edward will need to ensure that the goods are compliant with EU labelling rules. George's haulage company checks guidance on being a heavy goods vehicle operator. Sandeep, Edward's customs agent, submits an export declaration for customs and safety and security exit requirements. He sends the consignment reference to the haulage company to add to their goods movement reference, GMR. In this case, they need to register to use the UK's goods vehicle movement service. GVMS, which links the customs paperwork into one record to create a goods movement reference. Pierre, the French customs agent, submits an EU customs import declaration and makes an EU safety and security entry summary declaration. This generates an EU import movement reference number, MRN. He sends the MRN to the haulage company. While picking up the glassware, George checks that he has all the relevant reference numbers. George drives to the port. The ferry operator scans the documentation and George boards the ferry. The ferry operator systems notify him of next steps. Pierre notifies French Customs that the goods have arrived by updating the import declaration and Elise accounts for any import VAT. George drives to Elise's shop and delivers the goods, which she can now sell in France. 